While new pixels sadly don't come with unlimited Google Photos anymore, there's always other devices that feature this promise, like some ROMs and older pixels, which we can take advantage of. There are two methods I messed around with. Performance may vary, but the aim for both is to simply sync your photos from one device to the other to take advantage of that sweet, unlimited backup. First method is with the app sync thing. Setup wasn't all that intuitive and felt more complicated than it actually was. We simply add each device to the other using the QR scan function. Then we do the same for the other device and share the desired folder by hitting the toggle. This will bring up a prompt on the other device requesting a connection. Using that, we select the folder we want to sync. Then remove the old one for simplicity. Once these devices are all synced up, we just need to ensure Google Photos backup is turned off on your main device and turned on for the backup device. The advantage of sync thing is it's just device to device. So you don't have anything extra getting in the way and you can track deleted files with some extra options too. The downside is I couldn't get that far as it wouldn't reliably sync for me. Often reporting it was out of sync, but not letting me force a resync. All part of that less than intuitive interface. The other method I've been actively using for a while now is the app folder sync. A similar concept, but sticking cloud storage in between. For this, we tell our main device to sync its camera folder to a location on our Google Drive. Selecting the sync type as to remote folder. Setting up a sync schedule so it runs every day at 11 p.m. And in sync options, allowing sync deletions. We then set the backup device to pull from this remote folder into its local folder. I use the default photos location for simplicity. Then set the sync schedule to run an hour later at midnight. We also want to enable sync deletions on this one, then enable Google Photos backup on the backup device and disable it on the main one. I found folder sync to be reliable at actually keeping things in sync as it only needed to connect to the cloud and not rely on two different devices having an active connection at the same time. But it obviously can cause issues if you have limited cloud storage available. You can use Google Photos to free up space on your main device once they've been backed up though, which will then delete them from the cloud folder and filter through to the backup device. The only other issue I ran into was with Google Photos itself where it would recognize new media manually placed in the sync folder, but wouldn't always realize new stuff was there when done via sync. Using the files app, I could tell that the photos had come across correctly. Google Photos was just being stubborn. Opening the file individually would force photos to sync it immediately. But I also found that if I simply left my device on charge all the time, photos would actively find new media within the day. So overall, not a bad option if you have an old pixel laying around that still has Photos Unlimited going for it. It is a little easier than moving things around on a USB stick every now and then at least. <laughs>